Well, I guess I can't be great. So since I can't be great, y'all do me a favor and make sure y'all follow the social medias that y'all see. Make sure to follow the second channel, Gags with T. And if you would like to donate, the PayPal and the Cash App is available as well. Also, y'all already know what we have to do. Shout out to Bando as well as K-Star and their new songs. Bando King's Nasty and K-Star's Cock Goblin, both are available for purchase right now on all streaming platforms. Go and check out my two friendly friend friends as well as my other two friendly friend friends, um, <clears throat> Tramel as well as Rico with a K with Tramel's new, he's featured on Tramel's new song, Everything. It's available for pre-order. Definitely head on around there. Tell them I sent y'all. They go treat y'all right. So yeah, friend, uh, Candace and Chris then did it, honey. Candace and Chris then did it. It's about damn time. Candace, big head behind, been crying about this for I don't know how many seasons. And I can't tell y'all how truly ecstatic I am that Candace is finally going to be blessed with the opportunity to be a mom. All right. I cannot tell y'all how happy I am. For Candace, so we ain't ever got to hear about her crying about this no more when catch she comes back to the show. But before we get down to that, if y'all didn't see the small little announcement, I got it. You always tell me how great I am with words. Surprisingly, though, when the time came, the perfect words just didn't exist. I am so ready to laugh with you for the rest of our breaths. So I got a small little sum sum here from E.T. Shout out to E.T. And this says, after announcing her exit from the Real Housewives of Potomac, the Bravo star shares the, anointing, the exciting start of her new chapter with E.T. Candace Diller Bassett is upgrading from cry angles to baby wipes. Y'all petty. The Real Housewives of Potomac star 37 exclusively tells E that E.T. that she's expecting her first child with husband, Chris Bassett, 46. I'm about 13 weeks, so I'm just into the second trimester. It's been weird, but also very wonderful. I think to keep it kind, <clears throat> I think, uh, <clears throat> I think to keep it kind of to ourselves to this point, Candace shares with ET. Our immediate family knows my mom. I told my mom on her birthday in February. My dad knows. Chris' parents know. My siblings know. And that is my core best friend group. But outside of that, it's just been like kind of quietly just growing a bun. The Drive Back singer documented some of her journey to motherhood on Bravo series filming. Hold on. Filming counseling sessions with fertility specialists and the prep work for in vitro fertilization IVF. The couple's ba baby to be came from one of the embryos they froze two years ago. Oh wow, Candace. I think we both kind kind of content to have them just sit there until my cutoff date. Candace confesses referring to the window Chris gave her to bleep to bleep or get off the pot, y'all know, ish, or get off the pot, when it came to babies. She needed to be pregnant by the time he turned 50. But then I got an itch, she said, as the couple hit as the couple hit the under five year mark on that countdown, I always wondered, like, how would I know when I was ready? And I always felt like a part of my anxiety was that I wasn't sure that I would know. And when I knew, it was undeniable. I kind of woke up and realized that I was never going to be 100% ready. She continues, 
I just had to trust the process and trust my doctors and stop being afraid to just do it. So once we decided together that we were going to do that together, it was it just was kind of all moving, moving by faith from there. Um, Candace underwent implantment um, in January, leading to an anxiety filled two weeks of waiting to find out if the procedure was successful. She kept busy with the trip to Los Angeles for the Grammys, which delayed finding out by a few days as she wanted as she wanted to be back home with Chris when their doctor broke the news. Our doctor called us 8 a.m. She tells us that we're pregnant. Candace shares, we wanted, we wanted, uh, we waited and waited and waited all this time. So to finally hear that those two weeks, the process has worked over a year of doing the shots. I did two rounds of egg retrieval to do the shots in your stomach. I had to do I had to do the shots in my bum bum every day, which was not always fun. And to finally have it all pay off was amazing. The pair didn't yet know whether they're having a boy or a girl. They had one male embryo and one female embryo. So the doctors know. Chris explains, we all did the test. Obviously, we wanted, some, we wanted something healthy. And I was like, listen, Let's just take the highest grade egg and we'll put it in there. And this was the surprise of a whole, of, and this is the one surprise of the whole experience that we don't know yet, um, which is interesting as well. I think that is interesting, kind of, sort of. But then again, what I want to know, what, 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 uh, what I want to know, what I I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't want to know what I'm having either. Like if I went through it all this time, I probably want to be surprised too. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> the two do plan to find out the sex of the child before Candace gives birth though. Um, it was so cool that you literally have no idea what you're getting. Candace says you're their person. Uh, what their personality is, although at our last sonogram, Signs are pointing to them being more like Chris than me. Is that a bad thing? Chris asks. Laid back, Candace clarifies. We're trying to get them to move for the sonogram, and they were like being camera shy because before the camera came out, they were moving around and they pulled out a camera and they were like, nope. Candace and Chris Bundle of Joy will join, will join his three kids from previous relationships. Because y'all do know Chris do got two, uh, two more of uh, kids. Um, that's something that I got to keep in mind as we go through the process, right? That I've done this three times already. This is her first time. Chris reflects. I've got to make sure for me that I stay engaged because I've got to be super supportive for her and she's going to need that all the way through. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to just to share it and experience it with Candace. Just see where it goes. Um, which is what's up. There's a lot of comfort in knowing that he's done this three times with two boys and a girl. So he's so he's seen both sides, Candace says. As for what's the most looking, as to what she's most looking forward to about baby, Candace is already thinking far into the future. I'm excited just to support them in whatever they want to do. She muses, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Candace starts tearing up. <laughs> What we're watching, something about like kids playing soccer or sports or something. I thought to myself, like, oh my gosh, what if my son or daughter wants to play football? I'm not an outdoor person, like I'm not a sports person. I can only tell you <laughs> when there's a touchdown happening. But if my kid wanted to play football, I would get a big mosquito net <laughs> and be outside, you know, cheering and yelling, ready to go fight the referee. So I'm excited to meet them. I'm dead. As for Candace, <clears throat> as for Candace, uh, uh, as for fears, Candace also jumps ahead a bit. Beyond when the baby comes and it's time for school, I'm terrified of math homework, she cracks. But I guess with birth, I'm guessing I'm just looking forward to meeting him. Like I always, she keeps saying him. Well, no, she said them. I'm lying. I misread. Like I always have these dreams. I have dreams like every other night of me just holding a baby. But, you know, you see it. You see that. Ah, 
But you know, all you see is the head. So I'm excited to just hold up, dear Jesus. I'm looking forward to the community, the mom community, she asked. It's a space I've kind of been uh, peering into from the outside. Most of my friends and cousins have kids. I help raise and change diapers and babysit, babysit all of my cousin's kids. So it's just going to be fun to be a part of that community and, you know, to learn and grow as a member now. Candace is just starting to show, but amidst her bumps, often looks like a fool baby. <laughs> I'm bloated all the time. She laments. It's so annoying. I've been able to fool people. I think I think successfully thus far. Now people are going to be walking. I'll be in the grocery store and they'll be looking for the bump. So I'm excited about that. Baby arrives this far this fall. As far as what Chris and Candace family has after that, the two haven't decided if they'll add more to the uh, more to the broad after they welcome this little one into the world. Yeah, can we get excited about this one first? We do have another embryo in the freezer, Candace points out to E.T. I'm just taking it day by day. Thankfully, I feel really blessed so far to be just about in my second trimester and haven't really been super sick. I haven't had like super crazy pregnancy symptoms. So that's helpful in thinking about doing it again. But also it's like, could we find a wonderful surrogate for the second one? That's on the table. Um, that's an option that some women have the luxury of entertaining. So we'll see. Let me pop one out and see. Um, and yeah, you guys, that is it. So dear Jesus, <clears throat> shout out to Candace and Chris. Listen, this is what I am going to say. I think it's real interesting that she did this the way that she did it. And I'm not mad at Candace or Chris for doing it this way. Like I said on my posts on the community wall, I don't feel as though RHOP was deserving enough to, to share this with Candace. I'm not mad at Candace for doing this. I'm not. Candace don't need the stress. She don't need the drama, the unnecessary drama, the unnecessary arguments, the fighting, the, 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 the cussing out, the this, the that, being approached by ugly ass Muppet babies. We, she don't need none of that. She did the right thing. Let the world know on her own damn time and in her own damn way and let the network suffer. That's that's our Rachel P fault. I'm not mad at it. Y'all ain't deserving of that. And she don't need it. I'm not mad at Candace. I'm not mad at the way Candace or Chris did this at all. It was absolutely cute. And I am so, 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 once again, very, very, very super excited and happy for both Candace and Chris. Because like I said, I know this is something Candace been plucking our nerves with since season one. And I'm really, really excited that she's now getting a chance to finally be a mom. So again, shout out to you, Candace and Chris. All right. Well, y'all, that's it. That's all. I ain't got no more. Y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. And I'll holler at y'all later on tonight. Bye.